All right, hello everybody. Welcome to this release video for 1.5 NEU. Uh, the big feature in this version of NEU is the new dungeon map. So let's jump into a dungeon. All right, here I am in a dungeon, and you can see the uh, NEU map in the top left here. Um, so yeah, a couple of things about the uh, map you'll notice. First off, uh, the fact that all the tick marks uh, and question marks and etc. are uh, uh, custom textures. Uh, so that makes the map look a lot nicer. In addition to that, all the rooms are also custom textures, uh, and also all the connectors. So you can change the color, of, you can change the texture of the ticks, the rooms, the connectors. So if you don't like any of the colors you see here, you can you can change all of that. Um, and this is what the map looks like right now. I have it set to rotate with me, uh, and I have a custom border set. Uh, if I do slash any map, you'll see a settings UI which allows me to change a lot of these things. So I'm just going to go through in order here. So the first thing you can change is the map border size. Um, because I have custom map borders, uh, I can only support three sizes. So I have a, a small size, a medium size, and a large size. Uh, and also have a small room size, a medium room size, and a large room size. So depending on which floor you're running, uh, you'll need to change uh, one of these two things. Like if you're on a floor six, you probably want to use a, a small room size if you want to see the entire map. Uh, and we have a bunch of map border styles here. Um, made by not me. I'm I am nowhere near this creative. Um, in the actual mod, uh, if you hover over it, uh, it, it should show you tell you who made it. Um, but I'm just going to go through some of them. So the first one is stone, uh, simple border over here. Next one is wood. Uh, this one looks lovely. We have rustic, kind of like a steampunk sort of thing, a rustic circle. Uh, we have fade. We have ribbons. Uh, we have paper, like so. Crimson uh, does not have crimson only right now is small. Uh, we have ornate, and we have dragon. So all uh, most of the textures aside from crimson uh, work in all three different styles. Uh, if you want to have um, a circle without using one of the custom borders, just click on um, the second custom over here, and there you go, you can get it as a circle. Uh, you can enable, disable the dungeon map over here. You can change where the map is centered to. So if you want it centered, uh, instead of centering in the center of the rooms, you can make it center on the player. Uh, you can make it rotate with the player, or you can make it not rotate with the player, like so. Uh, again, even if you're not inside a dungeon, you can still preview it using this one over here. Um, icon style, you can change it from um, this normal default. You can change it to use player heads. You can change it to use um, player heads but scaled to be two pixels smaller. You can use it to be um, the player heads but with pixels cut off the edge or, or just normal, uh, whatever you prefer. You can make the checks. So by default, when if you rotate around, you notice that the checks are reorienting themselves. They always face downwards. Uh, if you don't like that, if you want it to be like um, all the other maps, uh, you can turn off check orient, and they will uh, appear upside down, uh, like, like so. Uh, of course, I prefer it orienting. You can also change um, check center. So uh, this will attempt to move the check marks towards the center of the room. So for example, in this two by two room, it'll move it towards the center, uh, and so on. Uh, it doesn't move it to the exact center, but uh, there you go. That, that is an option if you prefer that. Um, compatibility mode uh, and interpolation should you should not touch this uh, unless you know what know what you're doing or if you've been instructed by someone on the Discord. So yeah, just don't touch these two features. Uh, next, you can change the background color. So you can change um, color to background. You can make it uh, a, a blue background. You can increase the opacity. You can decrease the opacity. Uh, you can make the, the background chroma. Next, you can also change the border. So if you don't have any uh, any borders like so, uh, you can set a custom colored border. So just bring the opacity up. Uh, maybe want to maybe want a, a red border like so. Uh, of course, it supports chroma as well. So if we turn on the chroma here. You better see the the border flashing all kinds of ungodly colors. Uh, and if you like the chroma to look more like Skyblock Adams, maybe you can turn on this chroma type scroll, and then you can see it scrolls across like so. Um, next, you can change the amount of background blur. So you will notice um, by default there's a small amount of background blur, which makes it a little bit easier to see, uh, and also doesn't render text behind the map. Uh, if you don't like that, if you want to have more blur, you can increase this number here. If you want to have no blur, you can turn it off like so, and that will uh, no longer blur stuff behind it. I think uh, personally the, the background blur is nice, uh, makes it a lot easier to see what's going on. And finally, uh, you have the system here. Unfortunately, I haven't integrated it with the normal uh, the overlay editor so just for now you're going to have to modify the position of the map using these two things here um, you, know, you, you know you can you can, you can change where the map appears uh, percentage you can have it 50 percent the center in the middle or 8.5 and so on again it's not the best system but um, <laughs> that, 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 that's what I'm doing for now um, that's the dungeon map um, obviously there's a lot more kind of quality of life things in terms of 
uh, the, the ticks being nice and smooth in terms of the uh, interpolation all of that uh, as you might expect with, with some of the other maps but, but that is the, uh, the dungeon map, I hope you like it uh, and if you have any suggestions or, or any features you want added to the dungeon map uh, of course join the discord, uh, suggest it somewhere and I'll, uh, I'll get to adding it uh, so that's the dungeon map. In addition to that, there has been a number of bug fixes. Uh, I've fixed the incompatibility with the Skybot Cacher buttons. I've fixed one of the incompatibilities with Labby Mod inventory scaling. Uh, quite a few bug fixes there. Uh, I've also added a feature that lets you change the color of your rod lines. So if you're holding a fishing rod and you throw it into the water, uh, you can see it's black right now, but if I go into my options here, um, and I go into colors, I can change the color of my rod line. So I can make it white, I can make it blue. I can make it chroma if I so desire, which looks like this. In addition to being able to change your own rod line, you can also change the rod line color of other players. Uh, you can also reduce the opacity, so if you want to hide uh, either your rod line or you want to hide other player rod lines, you can reduce the opacity of their rod lines to zero like so. Uh, and yeah, and so that's a nice feature, and if you do not want this feature at all, uh, you can go to features and you can turn off the custom rod line colors and it will go back to normal. The next feature is also going to be related to dungeons and it is a dungeon windscreen. Uh, if you finish a dungeon, you are going to be greeted with a windscreen that looks similar to this. Uh, so I just finished a floor one run and this came up and we got a team score B. Uh, there's a command here which you can run and it will uh, basically show your last dungeon run uh, and it will pop up on the screen like so. You can set, so there's different types of, obviously depending on your team score, a different thing will show up. So if I get got an S plus run, uh, there'll be confetti and it will pop out and it'll say S plus. Uh, S looks like this. Uh, a looks like this. Uh, B, C, and D. Uh, and yeah, as soon as you finish the dungeon run, this will pop up on your screen. So this is a essentially a replacement uh, for the regular windscreen, which will, which will show on the map. And I think it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. Uh, if you want, you can obviously disable the feature through the config. And the, and the last feature is going to be an improvement to the dungeon block colors. So uh, now the dungeon block colors is far less laggy, and as you can see, it now supports partial transparency and chroma. So if I go ahead and open up the colors tab over here, uh, you'll see that we can change the dungeon chest color. Right now, I have it as chroma. I can make it whatever color I want, you can see it changing there, you can change the speed of the chroma, the opacity, uh, bring it down, I can change uh, change all of this, uh, and once again, if you want to disable a certain color, just bring the opacity slider down to zero. That also works for blocks, so if we look at the cracked bricks over here, uh, if I, oh, did not, <laughs> uh, if I go to the, the cracked bricks, and I, I can turn on chroma, and, and yeah, supports, so it supports partial transparency, it supports chroma, uh, and it also is far less laggy. Uh, however, if you are experiencing FPS issues related to it, uh, there is an option you can toggle, you can either toggle it off or there's another option uh, which will allow it to update slowly. However, obviously that will mean Chroma doesn't work properly and also animations will not work. Uh, that's about it for this version. Not too many features, but I think the features that have been added uh, you'll find very useful. So thanks for watching, see ya.